very good morning um, distinguished audiences thanks to icd for inviting me to speak something before you um, berlin economic forum 2014 24 uh, is celebrating 25th anniversary of the fall of berlin wall i think in the face of the sustainability revolution uh, this topic is uh, <coughs> very awfully chosen, and I will speak uh, giving more focus on Bangladesh and a reflection on South Asia. You know, United Nations uh, have defined <coughs> sustainability as the meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. That means sustainability is a very long time horizon. Uh, uh, it might take 40 to 50 years, and this is based on three pillars of sustainability, mainly three E. One is economy, ecology, and equity. And normally, uh, under this concept, uh, we have to develop people, economy, and society, and we have to sustain nature, life su support, and community. And John Elkington's coined word of 19, uh, I think 94, uh, he developed the triple bottom line concept, TBL or 3BL. That was based on three Ps, which is linked, uh, I think, these uh, three pillars of sustainability for corporate entities. People, planet, profit. People for human capital, planet for national capital, and profit for the real economic benefit uh, say, which is for host society. Uh, the topic of our discussion or the very much uh, <coughs> theme of the conference is sustainability is for economy, the industry, and the technology. And economy covers both industry and technology, and technology is a cross-sectoral term within economy. And industry, also a major sector of the economy, and technology itself a sector of the economy, and also an industry itself. Now I want to uh, give some highlight on our sustainability uh, aspects of Bangladesh economy. Bangladesh is a very uh, small economy, but uh, its uh, GDP growth rate, sometimes called, this is unbelievable, uh, resilient economic growth uh, given the uh, lot of limitations, political resource limitations and other things. And our per capita GDP never been negative over the last 43 years after independence in 1971. And uh, GDP growth over last five years it is six plus, six percent plus. And our per capita GDP that is also significantly increased 843 only US dollar in 2010, that is now 1190 dollar. Our gross domestic investment, that is also increased by uh, say 27 percent in this year, which was 23 percent in 2001. And these indicators show our sustainability of the economic performance of the country. Our main strength is export performance, which is uh, highly robust above 23 percent of our GDP, and that shows our current account balance 1.9 percent of GDP in 2013. And another strength of our economy for which our economy is uh, very sustainable, that is remittance recipient country. Bangladesh is the eighth uh, largest remittance recipient country, which is around 14 billion last year. And due to that thing, our forex reserve is very remarkably very high, around 22 billion in last September, which is uh, consists of around 66 percent of our remittance. Our FDI, foreign direct investment, foreign portfolio investment, in all contexts, uh, Bangladesh is a very attractive country. In global competitive index, Bangladesh ranked uh, 110 uh, this year. That means eight ranks gaining from last year. And ease of doing business is also uh, 
that is very good. Uh, it is ahead of India. Uh, and our country, once it was uh, say food deficit country, now almost food grain independent. And even uh, in some cases, we are uh, exporting some rice to other countries. And what are the magical elements here? Uh, there are four growth enablers in this context. One is demographic transition. Second one is financial deepening. Third one is increased openness. And fourth one is macroeconomic stability. Uh, you know, our uh, country is the eighth largest populous country in the world with very small uh, area. And, but uh, our demographic transition is very good. It has lower fertility and population growth almost 1.37% and leading to declining dependency ratio, which is now 56%, and previously it was around 95%. Our, uh, say, country has very high female labor force participation and higher savings rate also. And in case of financial depending, both level and efficiency of investment has been increased significantly. And our openness now it is around 55%, which was only 16% in 80s. Our ecological context, Bangladesh, although densely populated, our per capita carbon dioxide emission, which is one of the lowest in the world. But we have to face the climate change, uh, say, which is impacting in our country worsely. And in an estimate, from 1990 to 2030, one estimate shows our temperature will increase by 0 0.07 degrees Celsius in rainy season and 1.3 degrees Celsius in winter. Rainfall also will be increased in win uh, rainy season by 11%, but decreased by 3% in winter. And if sea level enhances by 3.2 feet, our 17.5% of our non-wetland will be underwater. So there is a great threat. And uh, one estimate shows by two, 2051, uh, say sea level might increase nearby our country around 0.64 feet. And our environmental performance index, for that reason, we are weak performer, but we have a lot of plans. And already Bangladesh Climate Sense Strategy and Action Plan has been devised. And our government, from their own budgetary allocation, uh, established Bangladesh Climate Science Trust Fund. And taking development partners' contribution, Bangladesh has uh, established another Bangladesh Climate Change Resilience Fund. Our central bank is very unique, and central bank has uh, taken a lot of green initiative. And I think. Um, our country's central bank is uh, to some extent unique in this context. Uh, it has taken green banking and environmental risk management initiatives since 2011. And central bank itself, uh, say, has created a refinancing windows for green financing. And from 96, from uh, NGO initiative, and from 2003 on government initiative, say we have taken a lot of solar home systems and already 3.5 million solar house systems already established in off-grid rural areas and that covers 13 million beneficiaries which is 9% of our population. And Bangladesh has introduced uh, say three pay uh, some sort of system polluter pay principle and from last July 1% of our environmental protection surcharge has been imposed on the polluting industry. And there is huge NGO and private sector campaign on three-year issue uh, regarding waste and uh, effluence, how to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Our third aspect, sustainable liquidity context, I think human development achievements is much better in Bangladesh, and that is due to attention to health outcomes, primary education, 
family planning, which is very unique in Bangladesh, and gender equality, especially in terms of education and workforce participation. Our expected life span, child mortality, eh, that all the, uh, say, MDGs eh, that is favorable to Bangladesh. And this is due to uh, support by our female grassroots workers and organizers by government and all leading NGOs working in Bangladesh. And our country has women leadership and empowerment. And from 96, we have women prime minister. And recently, we have women speaker in the parliament also. And government has significant social safety net expenditure. And our NGOs, which is uh, significant in terms of uh, contribution to GDP, they are working to develop this equity aspect also. And then sustainability industry issue. Our industrial contribution to GDP is around 30 percent, uh, which was only 20 percent in 1990. And our urbanization rate is also increasing. More industrialization surrounding, although big cities, but exports increase three times. And our ready-made garments exports, that is uh, tremendous. I think um, now it is third after China and EU as a whole. That means as a country, uh, Bangladesh is uh, second in ready-made garments exporting. And this is due to different types of uh, incentives given, and particularly as LDC, Bangladesh is enjoying some advantage here. And regarding sustainable technology in our country, mainly, uh, say, our agriculture previously totally manual. Now they are using technology. And we are using also high yielding variety, and from one crop to two crops. And for that reason, now we are food grain independent to some extent. Our central bank also initiated a lot of IT-based green banking initiatives. I am representing Dhaka Stock Exchange. Uh, Dhaka Stock Exchange is established in 1954, although it started in 1956, but after liberation uh, in 1971, Dhaka Stock Exchange again we started in 1976. And openness mainly started from 1990s. So our exchange is still small, only around 300 companies listed here. Daily trade around $130 million. And market cap is around $44 billion, which is 25% of GDP. And DSC since monitors all the listed companies and tries to ensure sustainability issues through, say, regulatory compliance. Our CSR guideline that must be followed by our banking sector, so we are monitoring CSR also. There is corporate governance guideline, mandatory guideline. We are enforcing that thing also. And to make DSC sustainable, uh, that means our exchange industry, we have uh, procured recently new technology from NASDAQ, and that is their latest cutting edge technology. And we are trying to digitize our all activities from next year. And as a final note, I am a professional accountant. So sustainability focus mainly uh, from our accounting viewpoint, I think we should give on three C. One is customer, second one is competitor, third one is community. And normally, uh, say what is unsustainable, mainly created by negative externality of the industry. So how we can, say, internalize these externalities, uh, mainly negative externalities, and how we can calculate the cost of these uh, <laughs> uh, externalities caused by different industries. Mainly, uh, say, we should follow full costing, full cost accounting. And that is normally uh, done by some sustainability assessment model. And this model mainly, uh, say, accounts, economic flows, resource use flows, environmental flows, social flows, everything quantified in some way. And when we can quantify, then we can enforce, we can audit also. So uh, then we can uh, <coughs> monitor everything. Ultimately, our countries uh, very limited resources. So our focus is how we can achieve resource efficiency. 
and we, uh, our main focus is now green growth. And I think to be sustainable, we should think green, go green. Thank you for patient hearing.